determining elevation on a USGS topographic map. First thing you need to do whenever you get a topo map is to look at the bottom center of the map. That's where the scale is listed and it's also where the contour interval is listed. In this case the contour interval is listed as 40 feet. That means that the change in elevation between any of these two consecutive lines is 40 feet. If this one was 0, that would be 40, and that would be 80, and that would be 120, so forth. This that one is 6,800, so this would be 6,840. This one over here would be 6,760, so forth. Now in this case, we're trying to de determine the elevation of two different points. Now when your point is on a line, there's a series of steps you can follow. First you find the nearest labeled contour line. Then you determine if your point is up or downhill of that line. You check the contour interval. You count how many lines you are away from the labeled contour and multiply that number by the contour interval. And finally you add or subtract that number from the labeled contour line. So let's try it out. For point A, we find the nearest labeled contour line, and it's this one right here. It says 8800, so 8,800 feet. Next, we determine if our point is up or downhill of that contour line. That tells us if we need to add or subtract. So we look at the nearby numbers, and we find that over here, it says BM8414 and over here it has 8800. Following this line across we're sure that's fine. Good. Now BM, just so you're aware, is a sign indicating that this is a benchmark, meaning it's a location where the USGS uh, field survey people went out and determined the exact location of that spot. Perhaps they simply wanted to find the elevation of that particular lake. It's not on a contour line, but it's just saying that that one spot was precisely measured. Well, we find that point A is between this 8414 and this 8800, so we're going to, it's downhill of the 8800, it's less. Next, we check the contour interval. Well, we already looked at the map and found that the contour interval was listed as 40 feet. Next, we count how many jumps we are away from the labeled contour, and we're going to multiply that number. So starting at 8800, 8, here's the bold line. I'm jumping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times to get to A. So 8 jumps, 8 times the 40 feet contour line, contour interval, that's 320 feet. Now we're going to add or subtract that number from the labeled contour line. Well, our original was 8,800 feet, and since we're downhill, we're going to subtract 320 feet, and we get that this line here, and thus point A, is 8,480 feet. What about if it's not on a contour line, if it's between lines, like for instance point B? We're going to determine the elevation of the two lines closest to this spot and then estimate the elevation. So we know, because we just found out, that this line here is 8,480 feet. We know that this line to the west is going to be lower than that because we know we're going down the hill to 8,414. So the contour interval is 40, this one is 8,480 minus 40, that's 8,440. Now B is not on this line, so it's eight, not 8,440, and it's not on this one, it's not 8,480, it's between them. So it can be any number between them, that's anything from 8,441 feet through 8,479 feet any number in that range would be considered acceptable because we don't know the exact number. I'm going to estimate that since B looks roughly halfway between the two lines that it's halfway between in height as well. It's 8,460 feet. But again, anything in this range 
one more than this and one less than that would be an acceptable answer.